Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 22 at chapter 7. This chapter, we will talk about work and energy. In this one, you can see we know the force as a vector has two components, x component and y component. And we also know displacement in the vector format has x component and y component. Then we need to find its work, right? And we know the work is Fd cosine theta, this one. And, so, and also we can say that the work is a dot product for F and D, right? So we have two ways to find the work. So how can we do that uh, individually? So for first one, if we want to find the work as F and D, cosine so we need to find the magnitude for F, easy, and the magnitude for displacement, easy. Next one, how can we find the angle theta? So first one, we can from this equation, we can get the cos the theta the angle phi f, right, the angle f with the x component, and then we can also get the angle phi d. This is the angle from d, this vector with the x component, and then phi d minus phi f becomes the angle theta. So in this one, you can say first say you find the magnitude for f, and then you find the magnitude for d, and then for each one, you can get its angle with x component, and then this angle theta is just use phi f minus phi d. Oh, the, the, sorry, the phi d minus phi f, and then you get the final answer. Another way is more easy. You just use the dot product for the force and the displacement. It becomes fx, fx component times dx, uh, dx plus fy times dy, and so in this one, you just uh, for each component, you times them together. You can see. Uh, in these two ways, you, the work we calculated in these two ways are exactly the same, 22 joules. So in this way, so now the question, which one you prefer? Uh, normally people prefer the second one. It's more easy for the calculation, right? It's more calculation friendly. So from now on, when you do the work, if you know it's the force and the displacement as the vector format, I suggest you use this one. The work is dot product F and D. Thank you.